We're ready to go now, sorry for the delay. So just to remind you, what we're thinking of here is what happens if you know what f of x looks like. So here's a straight line. It's the same one we had a look at yesterday, twice. If this is what f of x looks like, then what does the square root of f of x look like? You might like to jot that down on your left-hand side so you know what we're thinking about. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to ask you about is this part we've shaded in red. This is the original f of x, and it's below the x-axis. Why do you think that might be an important part to look at? What can you tell me about this part down here? Rastin? Negative number um, negative Yeah, this, this part of the graph, right? When you try and take the square root of it, uh, you're not going to get anything sensible out about that on the Cartesian plane anyway. So this whole section here, I can now ignore. Right? I've said I'm not going to get anything useful out of that, so great, there's some work I don't have to do. Okay? Then we also graphed y equals 1. Why do you think y equals 1 might be important when we're thinking about square roots? 1 squared y equals What's the square root of 1? one. It's 1. So anywhere that our original function intersects with y equals 1, like say right there, okay? when you take the square root of that, you're also going to get, oops, sorry, that should be a cross. You're also going to get 1. Square root of 1 is 1. Think back to all of the graphs and transformations we did in the last few lessons. What other values for this function are important? Not just one. Uh, the x-intercept is very important. For y equals 0, which is just there, right? Why is that significant? What's the square root of 0? Zero. 0. OK, now for reasons that become clear in a second, see how I've got crosses here. I'm going to draw three more crosses over here. I'm going to ask you to draw this guy here. Instead of a cross, draw a nice big fat dot. I'll explain in a little bit, or maybe you can explain in a little bit, why I'm putting a fat dot there rather than just an x like I usually do. OK, so I've got, um, I've got an x there. I'm looking now for, I've got, these are like all of the points that are usually important. I'm now looking for any values that are on the graph which I know I can take the square root of and get a nice number out, right? So uh, you can see 4 right up the top there, right? Can you look, what's the uh, x value that corresponds to y equals 4? Six. It's 6, very good. So over at x equals 6, y is equal to 4. So when I take the square root of that, I will get 2, two which should be right there. So go ahead and put an x there. Okay. Uh, if you want to, you kind of could go in between. So for example, I happen to know that the square root of 2, there's 2 there. The square root of 2 is about 1.4. You can go chuck that into your calculator and get something out of that. So if that's 2, then when I take the square root of this y value, I should go down. I think 1.4 would be about, uh, that's 1, isn't it? So 1.4 is about here. Just below that extra line. So go ahead, let's put another cross in. OK, so you can kind of see there's a shape happening over here. We can join up these dots predictably. Before we do that, there's one more cross I want to put in. And I'm going to cheat by zooming in, which I know you can't do. But do you remember? I'm actually going to go back to, because I think I have it on this particular thing. When we were squaring, uh, will this one do? Yeah, this is a good one. OK. So when we were, this is when we were squaring functions. Okay? Now, I want you to look and see if you can um, tell. This, again, is the y equals 1 line. Okay? So what y value does this look like here? That's 1. This is, like, this is just a half. right? It's halfway up to 1. And then do you notice, what point did I plot when I was squaring? Because you do a half, you square it, what do you get? A quarter, like that. right? When you're squaring, a half becomes a quarter. But right now, I'm taking square roots. So I should go in the opposite direction, right? If I can find a quarter, let's have a look at the graph we're looking at now. If I can find a quarter on here, the square root of a quarter is a half, right? Where's a quarter on this? Can you look and find it? It's pretty close in, right? So if this is 1, that makes this a half. That makes this, yeah, so I think this is a quarter. Do you see that? I know you've got to like put your face right up to the page, but there he is. So there's a quarter. What's the square root of a quarter? It's a half. So I'm going to put an x just above there. OK. Whoops, that's highlighting. Sorry. There you go. OK, now I think we can join this together. You could put in a few more points if you are confident. But I'm pretty sure this is starting to look like this kind of shape. Like so. What do you think of that? Are you happy with that? Like I've joined up the dots. You can see they're steeper earlier on, and then it kind of like shallows out over here. Now, hopefully when you look at this, 
this shouldn't be too much of a surprise for you, right? Because we've actually dealt with functions like this before. Sorry, this is not reciprocal functions. I was just cheating and using the same page. So I'm just going to get rid of that. There we go. This graph here, can someone tell me what the equation of this graph is? Y equals? It's a straight line. Uh, I'm going to give you a clue. It starts with an X. Minus X minus 2, right? So what we have just done, that's f of x. The square root of that is y equals the square root of x minus 2. And we've dealt with this before. It's half of a sideways parabola. Yeah, it's just the positive half. Why don't I have the other side down here? Yeah, yeah see this square root here, right? It can only be the positive part. Okay? So that's what the shape is. Remember we're looking for the same important values we were before. 0, 1, they're important. Any other numbers like 4, which we can easily take the square root of. And then anything that's underneath the axis, we just said forget about it. Can't take the square root, so don't worry about it. I want you to try this guy on for size. This is x squared plus 5x plus 6, just like we've seen many times. I want you to look for those important points. Maybe you want to draw in y equals 1. And then look for some values that you can also work out. Have a go. Give you a few minutes. If you think you've got an idea, call us over.